But the Office of the Head of Civil Service and Scholarship Secretariat has signed a memorandum of understanding to finance 100 workers in the public sector to study abroad. The agreement which seeks to finance the workers from diploma to PhD levels of the education abroad. The Memorandum of Understanding also seeks to enroll more public and civil servants onto the scholarship scheme. Currently, there are about 25,000 workforce within the public and civil service. Per the MOU, 100 of the workforce will be financed annually to study abroad. The Register of Scholarships, Kinsley Ajumai, is confident the MOU will spearhead other opportunities for workers in the civil and public sector. It's excellent the Vice President believes so much in the development of the Ghanaian mind. The Ghanaian public, we almost at time complain that uh, if you go to the ministries and the departments, they don't behave like the private sector here and there. Yet, we all attended the same, uh, the same kind of school. I believe that when we are knowledgeable enough and we have the confidence to do the kind of work, work that we need to do, we'll be able to deliver. Head of the civil service, Nane Jekum Jamina, appealed to the scholarship secretary to allow another partnership that will seek to run professional development programs for public and civil service employees. I want a continuum process of improvement. So today we can begin with 2025 and by next year we may even jump to 50. But we're also exploring further areas in terms of dealing with some of the short, short um, courses, programs, training programs. Uh, to, to which will be mainly competency-based. 